Hi, I'm Michael Chance, and I'd like to show you how to interact with people in the VoiceOver Virtual Conference, including how to set up and change your profile, how to use chat and messaging functions, and how to share your demo. All right, let's begin. So on the login page, you'll be able to log in with your username and password once the event is live. Now keep in mind, when you do register, you will be able to upload an MP3 demo, which showcases your talent. Simply click Browse and upload that MP3, and click Submit once you're ready to submit that registration form. So when you log into the experience on the live day with your username and password, once you click Login, you'll receive a system check. Once that completes, you'll be loaded directly into the virtual experience. At this portion, you'll be able to see an introductory message, and then at that point, once it concludes, you'll be able to click on any of these doorways and travel to any room virtually. You can also use the navigation bar, and there's additional preferences and settings. Now beyond that, you can also edit your profile simply by clicking on Edit Profile. And you can also adjust your registration information, such as your demo, simply by clicking on this icon. Now to find attendees in the experience, you can find them by clicking on the Chat tab on the left-hand side of the screen. And then you have the ability to actually find any user just by simply typing in their name here. And you can also sort by everyone in the experience in the roster drop-down. So you'll be able to see everyone or sort by a specific location. Once you find the person you're interested in chatting with, you can simply click on this icon to invite them to a chat. Now beyond that, we're going to minimize this by clicking the upper right icon. And we're going to travel to a room. Let's go to an exhibit hall. And let's go to the voiceover extra exhibit hall. Now you can see all the booths, and we're going to go over to the VoiceOver Extra booth. Within this booth, we can find all the different content, and we can also see an information tab when we first enter. This is where a representative is. So we can see all the representatives currently logged in, their name, their company, and their title. You can also see that this is the standard icon for your profile if you haven't updated your image. Now if you'd like, you can click on chat here to invite that representative to a chat. And once you do, you'll have a chat tab that opens up, and this is effectively a one-to-one -one chat. Now you can see that Jack is currently pending. And once he accepts, we'll go from pending to active. And now we're in a one-to-one -one chat. If I'd like to learn a little bit more about Jack, I can click on this eye icon, which allows me to see his profile. I can see his name, company, title, as well as his location, and if he's filled out personal information such as likes, dislikes, and professional info. Now you can see if I click on my profile, I have additional items completed here. So you can see this is fully built out with additional personal information, personal likes and dislikes, and I've uploaded my avatar image here just by clicking on change profile image. You can use your webcam or upload a profile image to adjust that image. So keep in mind, this is what it looks like when you have not completed your uh, specific account and when you have completed it. So attendees will be able to see this information and it is very helpful for them to see your uh, talents and traits. Now keep in mind when we are in this one-to-one -one chat, if I do minimize this window at any time, if uh, Jack talks with me, I'll be able to see it blinking here on the tab. Once I open that back up, I'll see that Jack has said something. So it works very similar to an IM. I'll receive a pinging noise, and I can also type back. And when Jack, uh, Jack says something, I'll also hear that pinging noise. So I can type as much as I'd like here, and at any time, I can engage a webcam. This will allow me to have a video feed with audio, and we recommend using headsets. Now make sure, just as proper etiquette, that you ask the other person if it's alright if you enable your webcam, so that it doesn't come as a shock. Now beyond that, you can copy your transcript, and then paste it into any Word doc or text document. And that's because we don't copy any of the transcripts or keep any of them, because these are completely private one-to-one -one and group chats. So if we want to invite another person to our chat, we can simply do that by clicking on their name from the roster field, dragging and dropping their name into the participants column here. So again, you can simply find someone in the experience, click, drag, drop right into the participants column. 
Now at any time, if you would like the other person, such as Jack, to be able to invite people and make him a moderator, all you have to do is click on this icon right here that promotes him. Now Jack can invite other people. You can have a maximum of 10 people in your private group chat, and you can also have a maximum of 10 chats active at one time. Now within your um, private group chat, you can have a maximum of four webcams also active. And if anyone is talking in a different language, you can also use this translate conversation icon right here. Now you'll see there's various different attendees, such as representatives, attendees, support staff, and technical staff. And you can also see that their status is varying as well. So if they're available, away, busy, or if they're removed from the list and invisible. And you can also create a custom field here and say, I'll be back at you know, 3.50 p.m. Eastern time, or anything you'd like to say right here to notify attendees of your specific status. And they'll see that when they roll over your name in the roster view here. All right, great. So now uh, let's take a look at how to actually request files. So if I wanted to request Jack's information, such as I want to contact him again about a, a new um, performance or gig that I need to hire him for, I can simply click on his uh, icon here for vCard request. I send this request and verify it by saying yes. And now Jack has up to 30 seconds to either accept or decline. When he accepts, I now have the ability to download this vCard. You'll hear that pinging noise for 30 seconds and then that message will go away. So keep in mind you have up to 30 seconds to download that item. Now if I also want to request Jack's um, specific demo reel, which is a shared file that he uploaded during the registration process, I can simply click on this icon here, send the request, Jack has up to 30 seconds, he accepts, And now I can close this, and I can also toggle back and forth between tabs to listen to this demo reel in a separate tab. The world has changed, so should the way you learn about it. Get the new Encarta reference suite this holiday. So I can toggle back and forth between the audio in one tab of my browser and the virtual experience. So at any time I could go back and reference that demo, or I can download it straight from that other browser tab. So again, very helpful to request demos. So you'll potentially be talking with a representative, they'll request your demo, you accept it, and then you'll be able to share it. So let's see what that looks like. So if Jack requests my demo, you'll see that I have this message. I can accept it, and now Jack has up to 30 seconds to download my demo. Same thing with the vCard, which is my contact information. Jack requests that. I'll also have a message. I accept that. And now Jack is able to download my personal information. All right, great. So now you've seen how to log into the experience, upload an item to your, um, to your account, how to customize your profile and upload an image, how to start a one-to-one -one chat with a representative or any attendee by using the drop-down roster here, how to search for attendees, and how to basically take that one-to-one -one chat into a group chat and share your personal information, promote other users to moderators, and how to share your demo reel. Again, you can have webcam or text-based chats. It's entirely up to you. And all one-to-one -one and group chats are private within the experience. Again, this is Michael Chance with Six Connects, the platform provider for voice over virtual. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Michael Chance, and I'd like to show you how to interact with other people during the VoiceOver Virtual Conference, including how to set up and change your profile, how to use the chat and messaging functions, and how to share your demo. Okay, let's begin. So on the live day, you're simply going to log in with the username and password that you use to register for the event. Simply use your username and password here, then click Login, and you'll receive a very simple um, system check which will walk you through all the settings. And if you're um, passable on that, you'll be able to log into the experience. Now once you log in, you'll be viewing the campus. And at this level, you can travel to anywhere virtually just by clicking on any of the doorways. So if we wanted to, we can go into an exhibit hall and chat with any of the representatives therein.
If we go to the VoiceOver Virtual Booth, we'll be able to basically chat with one of those representatives and share a demo file. It's very simple. All you have to do, click on Info and Representatives. This uh, information card will be expanded the first time you log into the experience. Click on this chat icon to invite this representative to chat. They have up to 30 seconds to accept, and you can see that their status here is going to go from pending to active once they accept it. And then you're going to be in a one-to-one -one chat. At this point, you can simply type in your messages here. They'll receive it, hear a pinging noise, just like a regular instant message, and then they can reply as well. You can continue to have that conversation, or you can enable your video right here by starting your webcam. You can make additional adjustments to your webcam here as well. Now you can see in the one-to-one -one chat that their, um, their avatar image here is our, our standard one. Now if you want to update that to actually be your own profile picture, um, or if they wanted to update theirs, all you'd simply have to do is click on Edit Profile, which is down here in the bottom right. Or you can access it at any time right here in the chat tab. Click on that, and then you'll be able to click on Change My Profile Image, and you can do that by using your webcam or uploading a picture. Now additionally in this Personal Information section, you can make any adjustments to your company, title, even uh, reference a website, and you can even adjust your personal information here, so your specialties. And beyond that, you can say your likes and dislikes. Once you save all that information, simply refresh your browser and your profile image will be attached to your account. Now you can also see that you can change your status. So if you want to go from available to away, busy, or even invisible so no one can invite you to chat if you're away from your, your desk at the moment, or you can even customize it. So you can say, I'll be back in five minutes. Now beyond that, um, you have a very important item attached to your account, and that's in the registration portion of the event. When you upload your demo, which is an MP3 file, to your account, you'll be able to actually share it with attendees in the event. So the way it works is, when you're in a one-to-one -one chat, you'll be able to request someone's shared file, simply by clicking on this blue disk icon. So if I wanted to receive Jack's uh, demo, I can request it, and I can choose to send that request. Jack has up to 30 seconds to accept it. And then I'm going to receive this notice. Once I click open, you'll see that I also have this file here. And then I can go back to the experience and close this message. So at any time, now I can go within the experience or listen to Jack's demo. So should the way you learn about it. Get the new one card a reference suite this holiday. And so it's pretty helpful. So I can request someone's demo, receive it, listen to it, and stay within the experience. At any time, I can copy the transcript to this one-to-one uh, -one chat, because keep in mind this is a private chat. Um, no one else is monitoring it or knows it's going on, and we do not uh, keep the transcripts for you. So make sure you do copy it and save it to uh, any Word document if you do want to save it. In addition to that, you can request someone's shared information, such as the information they registered with, their name, phone number, uh, contact details, all within this V-card. So you can download that and uh, open it up in any of your contact applications. Now, if you'd like to, you can also promote this person to a moderator if you created the chat. So if, um, if you promote them to the moderator, they'll also be um, able to actually invite other attendees to the chat. So to find other attendees, you can use the filter field here, start typing in their name, and it'll auto filter. And you can sort by your specific location or by everyone in the entire experience. You'll see that there's different types of attendees, such as representatives, support staff, and standard attendees right here. Now, if you'd like to use the advanced people search, you can do so here. And beyond that, once you find a person, you can invite them to your one-to-one -one chat and effectively make it a private group chat. So if I have another question for someone else, I can click and drag their name right here into the participants column, and they'll have up to 30 seconds to accept. If they accept, they'll be a part of our group chat now. You can have a maximum of 10 chats active at any one time, and you can toggle through them all right here in this dropdown, 
or by clicking on any of the tabs. All right, great. So now you've seen how to chat with representatives, how to find other attendees in the experience. And there is our last note. Once you find an attendee, you can invite them to chat simply by clicking on this icon next to their name. So again, now you've seen how to invite representatives to chat as well as how to invite attendees. Well, this is Michael Chance with Six Connects, the platform provider for voiceover virtual. Thanks for watching.